Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome. If you're new here, my name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I'm on Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Friday. It is Friday. It is almost Christmas. I cannot even believe it. Crazy, crazy, crazy that it is almost Christmas. I can't believe how quickly this year has flown by in this month. This month leading up to Christmas, I feel like has flown by. There is only one more weigh-in before this year is over. One more. That is crazy to me. I did go ahead and put out my 2023 goals video and recapped my 2022 goals. I'll link that video down below in case you missed it. But today we're going to talk about my week and my maintain, not gain philosophy, mantra, what I'm doing for the month of December and to make it through the holidays by still being able to enjoy everything, but not gain the typical 10 to 15 pounds that people gain from Halloween through New Year's. We're also going to talk about this week's WW workshop topic, which is a fantastic one, and we'll set some goals moving into next week. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I do a weigh-in every Friday and I upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend focusing on this is how I've lost over 135 pounds. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability. And if you would like to talk with me directly, links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's jump into my week, my weigh-in and the WW workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. Happy couple days before Christmas. Let me know down in the comments, are you ready for Christmas? We're 100% ready. Like I've mentioned a couple times, we didn't exchange gifts, so this was a pretty easy breezy Christmas for me. We did have quite a few holiday parties. I have a little bit of last minute baking that I'm going to finish up uh, because my husband ate a lot of the sugar cookies that were for Christmas. We put them in the freezer in the garage and I noticed that they're slowly disappearing. So now I feel like I don't have enough cookies for the holidays. So I do have a little bit of holiday baking to do, but overall I am feeling really good and ready for the holidays. This week was a little bit of an interesting week. I ate out Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Thursday night I went to dinner for a with my boot camp. Friday night, I went to dinner with my in-laws. We attended a little Christmas concert, then went out to dinner. And then Saturday of this last week, I had a Christmas party with some friends. So I did a lot of eating out and I'm currently on my cycle. So that's fun. It's been a rough cycle this month. I've been not feeling the best, a little bit fatigued, lots of uncomfortable feeling a little bit uncomfortable. It's been an interesting week between all the holiday parties and just really not feeling very good. However, I'm proud of myself that I remained consistent. I did my workouts. I did my best to stay. I stayed in my calories, made sure I hit my protein every day. Of course, there were days that I didn't make the best food choices, especially the days that involved parties and going out to eat, but I did my best and I tried to make it up the rest of the week by making healthy choices. I also allowed myself grace and flexibility because it's the holidays. That's why I decided to make December maintain, not gain. Not focus on losing weight this month, but maintaining my weight and enjoying the holiday season. It only comes around once a year. So I'm proud of myself considering all of the things that I had against me this week that I was able to do my absolute best when it came to my food choices, drinking my water and navigating social events. Before I jump into my weigh in though, I want to talk with you guys about this week's workshop topic because this is a really good one. We talk a lot about mindful eating and we talk about how we should eat undistracted, turn the TV off, set down your phone, really just focus on what you're eating. But what happens when we're distracted? We still need to eat mindfully. So this week we're going to talk about some tips on how to eat mindfully while distracted. Have you ever looked down at your plate and it's empty and you're like, what happened? I don't even remember eating everything on my plate. That's the epitome of distracted eating. Sometimes there's just distractions that are part of life. Maybe it's children, pets, outside influencing, you're out to dinner, you're focusing on the social conversation and not the food. Having distractions is part of life. So how do we manage those when it comes to mindfully eating? We do have some tips and tricks from WW. Try this, manage your distractions. Keep 
your phone and any electronics out of sight. Occasionally pause during conversations to shift focus to how the food tastes. You can also focus on your food. Pause before digging in to notice the colors of your plate. Listen for different sounds that each bite makes as you chew. Slow down. Try to match the pace of the slowest eater at your table, which is always my lovely husband, and spend the first two minutes eating with your non-dominant hand. These little simple tips and tricks can number one, help you slow down with your eating, which makes our brain and stomach connect and signal that we're full. And it can make you a little bit more mindful despite distractions on the foods that you're eating. This can be a really busy time of year. I mean, let's be honest, most of us are busy every single day and there's just distractions all around us when we're eating and when we're not eating. We often eat faster than we intended. We often look at our plate and go, where did our food go? Or we get through a meal and don't even remember taking tasting how delicious the food really was. We're not suggesting that you put on blinders and only focus on your fork. What these tips will help you do is be a little more mindful even when you're distracted. Find moments to connect with your food. Really savor all the flavors, the colors, the textures, the crunch. Still enjoying your conversation, still being a little bit distracted, but just being more mindful on focusing on what you're putting in your mouth. So when you finish your meal, you remember eating it. Not that there's just an empty plate in front of you and it's like the abyss and you don't know what happened to all of your meal. This will be really helpful for you on your journey, regardless of it's the holidays, a busy time of year, a busy day. Just being mindful while distracted can really help you slow down and enjoy your food just a little bit more. Let me know down in the comments as well. Are you a distracted eater? Do you find that your life is so busy that you can't just sit down and focus on food? And do you think that these tips will help you? So now let's jump in to my way in. Like I said, it was an interesting week. Lots of parties, not feeling my best. I actually did take an entire rest day this last Sunday, I did not exercise at all, which was a really good decision because that's the day that I actually started my cycle and really was not feeling well at all. And despite the parties, despite missing a day, missing a day, if you want to call it that, of moving my body, when I stepped on the scale today, I maintained I'm exactly the same weight as I was last week. I've actually lost every week in December, not a lot, just a few ounces. This is the first week of actually maintaining and I couldn't be more happy. I mean, the parties, the cycle, life, it's so great that I have really worked enough on my relationship with food. I've established some really healthy habits like exercise and drinking my water and getting right back to my normal food when an event or a holiday or a party is over. That has really helped me maintain my weight this week. And like I said, I honestly couldn't be more proud of myself. I'm actually prouder of this maintain than the losses throughout the month of December. It just proves to me that I'm in a good place and that once I get to maintenance with my weight, I should be able to breeze right through a maintenance. Now, is it going to be hard and challenging? Of course, but I've made some really healthy food, life, food and lifestyle changes that's going to help me along the way. So a maintain, not a gain, we'll take it. Let me know how was your week, how was your way in, how are you doing now? navigating the holidays. If you are trying to maintain, not gain, let me know how that is all going for you. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on because I do a weigh-in every Friday. And again, I upload five videos every week. Down in the description box, I'll put my vision board 2023 goal video, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my very favorite things, and my Facebook group. If you're not part of our group, we'd love to have you. We have some super fun stuff coming out in the new year. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. I hope you have an amazing, amazing holiday weekend. I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye! Jingle bells ring.